I've already recorded this, but I was jibber jabbering. Not happening in this take. Okay, hi. All things hair. I'm gonna go through this video very short, very sweet, very simple. Um, I'm actually gonna get ready with my hair on camera so you can see how fast it takes me to get ready. I live near a really busy street, so if you hear all that, I'm really sorry, but this is the best lighting I can give you. Okay, well, let's get started. Hi, my name is Amy, how are you? If you're new to the ambiance of this channel, I don't know what I post. I try to make it very um, cash, but sometimes my anxiety gets overwhelming and then I have to redo all of my videos and then it just becomes a mess. So, this is one of them, second round. Um, I wanted to answer some questions that I posted on my Instagram asking if you had any questions. I'm answering the questions, yes. So I'm answering these questions along with giving you some of my tips and tricks and the things for curly hair. So this is a one year update. Um, if you have followed me through my hair journey or you've seen this video, um, I actually shaved my head last year. Pretty sure a lot of us did. You know, 2020. Bitch. What did I do? I'm sorry, I get so distracted with all the cars. It's very frustrating. Um, I can't wait to move. Um, that's also in the back of my mind, the anxiety. Rush. It's thriving. So I'm going to show you simply how... <laughs> I'm going to show you some of the products that I use what I've been doing to my hair, what I take for my hair to be as long as it is. As it is. Yeah, let's get started. Some of the stuff that I use for my hair, uh, super simple things that I use probably like maybe two to three times a week, but um, this is one of them, the Blue Magic Indian Hemp. It's a hair scalp and conditioner. This actually works really well on my hair. You don't need a lot. I literally just, you can tell like I've had this for a while. I like at the back of your the hand, because I don't like it in my nails, but the back of your hand, put it around your hands, and then I just scrunch it in my hair. And um, the Cantu Avocado, this is a little gel that's just like hydrating, and it doesn't leave my hair crunchy. It's always a plus, you know. 90s babies, crunchy curly hair, hello. So for to keep kind of like a defrizzer in my hair, which I try, because hello curly hair, we frizz is a spray, spray treatment from one and only, the Argon Oil Spray Treatment. Some of the stuff that I put in my hair, that's literally probably the only things I do consistently in my hair. If I need hairspray, like I'll do the got to be, you know, whatever. But normally my hair doesn't take a lot of product and I like that because when you weigh curly hair down, it just looks funky. Some of the shampoos that I use do have a lot of buildup from my hair oils. Um, I only wash my hair like two to three times out of the month, uh, depending on if I'm doing a lot of activity, if I'm if I'm working out a lot constantly, I'll do a co-wash, and so I'll just rinse the hair, and then I'll just do a conditioner. The conditioner that I use right now is a thick and straightener um, from Ren Pure. It's a plant-based um, conditioner. This is sulfate-free and paraben-free. I like it. It doesn't, I don't need a lot of conditioner because I use the that oil stuff. So I name, mainly just address my scalp. I do use the Neutrogena Anti-Residue Formula. And then I use the Healthy Scalp Clarifying and Shine. So this one smells, this one smells so good. I use those products. Those are the hair products. I'm going to show you the length of what my hair has been, like where we're at now for the full year. So here we go, one year. This is one year after shaving it so it's pretty it's pretty lengthy um the curls aren't as defined as they were yesterday um when i filmed this video yesterday my curls are super defined and that was only because i intentionally brushed it out air dried it you know did all the things so right now i'm going to put in a video clip of my evening routine of how i do all this when i wash my hair so
Okay, hi, you're back. So now we're going to, I'm only just kind of loosening the curls. I can feel that it's, it's not really dry, but it isn't defined. So if I have, see, if I, if I don't want to keep it up, I mean, if I don't want to keep it down, I can just put it up in a ponytail, which is probably what I'm going to do. I didn't want to put more product in my hair. I did do it yesterday, but it literally takes me, all I do is grab and pull up, grab and pull up, and this takes me seconds. Um, to maintain my hair, it doesn't take long. Let me go get the choco. I use these. My hair is just like crazy. <laughs> I use these, um, they're headbands, but I like them because they can be loose or tight and I just fold, fold them like that. And then literally my daily hair look, um, I'll just gather all the curls and pull them up, gather and pull up. And throw on, I'll probably two wrap it. I think the three is suit like really tight and then pull out the baby hairs pull out some of the side and then kind of make it look like effortless um, but that's literally it that's all I do <laughs> um, so yeah I want to answer some of your questions this is how fast it takes me to put my hair up so that was one of the questions Regimen for the evening doesn't take me long at all either. I do try to let my hair dry though before I go to sleep because if I don't, it's gonna be kind of like matted and like flat. So if I am washing my hair in the evening or if I want to wash it in the morning, in the mornings it'll air dry a little faster because in the evenings, you know, you're laying on your head or whatever. But I do try to use a like silk cap, like an evening cap, just so that um, I'm not, um... well see that doesn't help. So okay, when I don't wear this, it tends to be more fluffy. When I do wear this, it tends to look more matted. It's very weird. Um, but I try to use this just to protect the curl so I'm not like pulling on my hair. I don't have a silk pillow, so go figure. So one of the questions was, okay, so the, how much time do I spend? I don't spend a lot of time in my hair. I do use a brush that detangles it. It's a rubber brush. You get it like Sally's. How, okay, so how much time do I spend on my hair? 10 minutes. <laughs> If I'm really trying, um, if I am putting it in the style, like if I really want to like brush it up and stuff, that does take a minute. Normally I'll either have it in like a bandana or I'll have it in a ponytail or I'll have it in little pinches, like little um, clips. But other than that, I don't really spend a lot of time. One of my friends said shaving, head shaving story and the revelation it brought you since growing your hair out. If you haven't checked out my video on why I shaved my head, you can go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, the reason I shaved it was because I found a lot of identity in my hair and kind of like I don't know made a deal with God and cut it all off and started over and it's been really healing really therapeutic a lot of stuff has happened if you want me to be in more details about that though let me know in the comments because this video will get lengthy and I don't want to do that to you my favorite and least favorite thing about my new look my most favorite thing about my new look is it's low maintenance low. very low maintenance I don't have to keep up with it every three months like I was when I was dying it and bleaching it and all that stuff so that's been a lot of fun. The least favorite thing is that it's like short, so it's like minimal. You can't really do a lot with it. So that's something that I, I'm i hoping to grow my hair out like really long. Uh, some of the stuff that I do take for hair growth, I wouldn't even say like daily though, only when I remember. Um, I do take prenatals by Natural Life, I think. 
I got it at Whole Foods. I'm Sprouts, I got it at Sprouts. Just like a natural prenatal hair, skin, and nails. I'm not pregnant, but I find that prenatals help me better than regular like biotin or like regular hair, skin, and nail pills. Curl pattern, different or the same as before? Definitely different. My hair was like super stringy and gross and all the things. Um, I hadn't seen my hair curl pattern uh, since the eighth grade. So doing the math, roughly 18 years roughly yeah since i was like 14 13 because i was already um i was already chemically straightening it the box chemical straighteners you get in the in the hair product section like for the for the textured hair definitely different definitely different it's not bleached it's healthy <laughs> also another question was do you notice a difference in the health of your hair well yeah duh, definitely i don't feel i feel like it's a lot thicker and like when it's wet it doesn't look all like um it doesn't look stringy, you know, when like bleached hair looks all stringy when it's wet. I was dealing with that a lot, so it's nice when it's dry or wet, so that's pretty cool. Sorry, my hair was falling out in the back. And then the products, I showed you the products, right? So, um, also, I kind of wanted to touch on a note from a box break video that I did. Um, my last video when I was recording this, I went on a rant and I was like super pissed and whatever. I don't care. I'm here to tell you that um, if you have uh, hairstyles that you want to do and you feel like you won't be, I don't know, it's not in your lane to stay in to do hairstyles, like, do, do whatever you want with your hair. Like, it's just hair. It'll grow back. And if people want to hate, let them hate. Like, it's not a big deal. I think it's pretty funny, though, that uh, people are so quick to judge and give critique to other people who are trying new styles. I generally love braiding my hair. It does take a lot of time and effort, um, and it is tasking. That's why I get someone else to do it now. <laughs> However, it's really cool to share with other people like how I do different things to my hair because what if they're doing it to their hair and they want someone to share and teach it? Maybe they like how I give the approach. But I mean, to sit online and bash someone and be rude about it, it's pretty uncalled for. So if that's the case and you come on a, a video and that's what you feel like doing, you should totally click out and you should definitely keep that to yourself because you know it's not beneficial to anybody in the comments. And it's not really fruitful for you as a person. So uh, I'm going to keep this video super short, super simple. Uh, one year hair update. There you go. This is it. And uh, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Share it. Subscribe. Like. Do the thing. Um, if you want any more hair videos like this, please let me know. And I think that's going to be it. So love you. Take care. God loves you. God bless. I'll see you the next one. Peace out. That was way better than the last one. What it is like two rounds i think i'm a two rounder mm -hmm. i can't do the video the first time i have to do it the second time and then like i know what i'm saying duh sorry oh my gosh every time i film i always have a runny nose but i'm having to put it in a three chongo because it was falling out remember when you would get like the the slanted eyes when you would throw your hair back so far oh